Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? And how are you today? Hello, friends. My name is Lily. And today I'm going to read you a story about my friend, the elephant, who got lost. But luckily, he had a friend who helped him get back home. So, the story is called My Dog is an Elephant by Remy Seaman. And here it goes. My dog is an elephant. Every Tuesday morning, Hector would go off to play in his sandbox. But this week, an unexpected guest was waiting for him. <gasps> Who it could be? Let's turn the page. Hey, elephant! What are you doing in my sandbox? I ran away from the zoo, the frightened elephant told him. And now they are looking for me everywhere. If they catch me, all they will throw me in jail. <gasps> oh no! And I didn't even steal anything. And the elephant began to cry. There, there, Hector said to the elephant. If you don't stop crying, we'll both drown. I'll help you. elephant up in his little bedroom. He was sure no one would discover him there except for his mother. An elephant! She screamed and fainted dead away. Bang! Quick! Hector said to his elephant. You have to hide before my mother wakes up. But that time she woke up, the elephant had disappeared. But he kept showing up in strangest places. She opened the dresser drawer. Bang! She looked under the bed. Bang! She opened the door, closet. Bang! If I don't hide you elsewhere, my mother will go completely bonkers, Hector told the elephant. But how can we do that? Easy, I'll disguise you. Hector used all his imagination and costume making talent to transform his elephant. Let's see what he's going to make him disguises. Oh wow! There's a big moose. Hector was very proud of himself, but he didn't know that it was open season for moose. Oh no! As that Hector picked a new disguise for his elephant. But there was one little problem. Dinosaurs had disappeared a long time ago. When they stepped into the street, they were besieged by thousands of scientists in lab jackets. <gasps> wow! Look at all these scientists surrounding this big dinosaur. Hector decided 
to disguise his elephant as a butterfly. But there was one little problem. He never imagined a butterfly of this size would attract so many collectors. Fly away, butterfly, fly away. But Hector was not discouraged. He decided to use his costume from last Halloween. The elephant took it and slipped it on, which was so no small bit of business. Once it was on, Hector went out to walk his new dog. To make sure no one suspected the truth, he told his elephant what a dog was expected to do. He had to bark. Oh, I can do it. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Woof, woof. Bring the newspaper without the paper boy. And left his leg on the fired head. Yucky. Everything was working out fine. The elephant was enjoying his dog's life. But one day, what had to happen, happened. Rip! The little costume was in shreds. Hector was discovering that camouflaging an elephant is a big business. He decided to help him return to his country. Somewhere in Africa, he took his picky bank and went to buy an airplane ticket as big as his large friend. Back at the home, he lent his father's suit to his elephant. I will have to tell Papa to go on diet. His clothes fit you like a glove. Oh, his Papa is just as big as an elephant. I wonder. Together, they went to the airport. Hector wished his friend a pleasant journey. The elephant went through customs and turned around to say goodbye. All right, he called to Hector as he prepared to get on the plane. Oh, look, the, the friend is crying. Poor friend. I will be sad as well if I lost my friend. Hector went back home. He was a little sad at having lost his big friend. But there is what there was a surprise waiting for him. He heard a little voice. Help me, help me. There are way too many cats around. Come with me, Hector told him. There are no cats. In my room. Delicately, Hector picked up the mouse and brought him back home. It's very nice of you to help me hide. But there's one thing I must tell you. And just as the mouse took off his big ears, Hector's mother opened the door to his room and came face to face with... <gasps> Wow! Oh, giraffe! Okay, the end. Hope you like the story. Next time, I'll see you tomorrow with a new story. See you. Bye.